part question, last home game, and you know, what are your thoughts on when you heard about the, uh, the postseason? Uh, last home game, I just, um, it's, 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 it, it feels crazy to finally come to this point to this, you know, to your last home game, to your senior night. Um, just want to get a fan to show. I mean, they've been great. They've been helping us get a lot of these wins, you know, getting with their energy and their enthusiasm and, you know, them coming out. So we owe the fans, you know, to go hard tomorrow night and try to, you know, defeat Pitt. And, you know, not being able to make a tournament, I mean, of course, it's, um, it's disappointing. There's a lot of things you could say, but it is what it is. Our administration made their choice. Um, NC2A made their decision. And, you know, we have to see and we have to live with it. And I just told the guys in the locker room that, you know, with, with this comes another opportunity that we normally only get three teams where at the end of the year get to, you know, end on a win. And that's uh, that's the winner of the NC2A tournament. It's the winner of the NIT. And it's going to be us. So hopefully, you know, we get to go out with a, you know, a huge win streak and carry that momentum on for next year for those guys to turn it. How did it all go down? Did Coach call you in? How did that? Uh, we just were in the film room right behind me. Um, you know, AD, since AD was there, and then uh, Todd just told us, Mr. Stanbury just told us straight up. He was like, well, um, you know, you know what's been going on, and what's going on with the field today, but we decided to, you know, just drop that from our field process and, you know, um, you know, have the opportunity next year is, rather than eat it this year. Is it a bittersweet feeling to know that this is your, going to be your last home game, your last season playing for Georgia Tech, and they dropped the appeal for the better of the program, but for you, it's the last two games for you. Is it bittersweet? What's the sweet part of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, it, it's tough. It's tough, but um, especially the worst part about it is how well we've been playing lately. I feel like, you know, we, we've been, um, we've really been playing like together as a team, really been coming together. I feel like we've really figured it out as a team, this unit that we have now. And um, it's just disappointing to know that it's going to come to an end. And I feel like we have the opportunity to beat a lot of guys. I feel like um, there were some teams in the ACC that we wanted back, some games that we wanted back. It's some games where I feel like, you know, we could have played uh, at a higher level for a long period of time and won. And, you know, at the end of the day, we put ourselves in this position, but um, it's just disappointing that we were playing so well right now. Do you think you'll be watching the ACC tournament? I won't. Yeah. Good uh, question. And do you think this, it's hard to say, it's all supposition, but would this team have made a good run in, in, in the tournament? Uh, I, I honestly think we would have made a good run. Like I said, we've been playing good basketball lately. Um, you know, we, we, we're going to see how we finish up against Penn and Clemson. Of course, you don't want to talk you know, uh, about any bulletin board material, put out anything you can't have. But these last couple of games, we're playing really well. Uh, we played really well in the um, first half against Syracuse. We didn't play as well in the second half. We dropped the ball on that. Um, last loss we had before that was uh, Pitt, who we get to play again tomorrow. So we can see how, you know, redeem ourselves on, you know, how we played. You know, a lot of mistakes that we made, turnovers. Um, you know, getting stagnant, just little things that we were able to perfect and things that we were able to come together as a team to get better at. And like I said, that's that's honestly the worst feeling for me just because I think this team could have made a run. In your time here, are there any games that really stick out in your memory? Uh, probably, you know, Northwestern at Northwestern, big, the Big Ten ACC Challenge. Um, at this point in time, I, I still wasn't starting with Coach Bazin yet, and I remember just having my first, uh, my first double-double, and that was the time when I was like, well, I feel like you know, I feel like actually playing, you know, the really one minutes basketball. Like, okay, I might be a, be, a, be, a, be a good player. So, I think that was probably one of the more memorable games for me. James, did you have any kind of concern or, or suspicion that something like this might happen? I mean, I mean, we all we all knew what the possibility was, and you know, we knew what some of the factors were when it came to you know our guy, you know, fighting more or less for us, and you know, with the appeal and uh, with the position that we put ourselves in, we just. We had, to, we had to eat it on this one. I mean, these guys are doing it for, you know, doing it for the, the sake of the program, for recruitment, for all those yeah, things. So uh, you have to, of course, me selfishly, I want to play. I just want to keep going. But uh, for Georgia Tech and, and for this great program, Coach Pass and for my teammates, it, this is the best decision. There is a part of you that understands it then. I mean, yeah, I understand yeah. it. Like, like I said, me, myself, yeah. I, I'll keep going. But, you know, I, I understand why the decision had to be made and I understand where they were coming from. And, um, you can't fault anyone for, for that decision. I mean, you just have to live with you know, you know, the NCAA the NCAA two has done to us. What is your relationship been like with Coach Rapp and Coach Patch? I mean, it, it's been an amazing relationship. Um, you know, they, they brought me so far. They brought me along. They made sure I become a better player and a better young man. And um, they continue to encourage me. They continue to give me the opportunity. They continue to set me up for my future, whether it's in basketball, whether it's in life, whether it's pushing me to keep my academics up. Um, it's been great mentor for me. The experience of playing with Jose, uh, what has that been like? And I don't know how you describe his style of play. 
there's, there's like six pictures of him up here, and there are, he's either diving on the floor or celebrating or uh, something uh, uh, that's hustle oriented. Uh, he, he, he's a dog. I mean, he's a dog. I mean, he's a dog. He's a dog. He's a competitor. He's a guy that you want on your team if you want in, in the trenches because you know he's always going to fight for that extra inch. He's going to fight for that extra centimeter, and he's going to give you that ever that you need to succeed. I mean, um, you know, I'm not. You might find some guys just thinking you know more talented, you know more athletic, but you know the mental that he has, the mentality that he has, that that dog that he has in him is what I want on my side every time because I know when we step in between those lines, he's going to compete. He's going to compete on defense. He's going to compete on offense, and he really wants to win. And those things is really what helps us uh, out there on the court. Way to go, Patrick, too. I <laughs> feel cheated. I mean, you're not out here. You stayed eligible. You didn't break NCAA rules, yet you get the penalty of it. Does it, does it feel unfair? I mean, it, it does. I mean, you're going to be honest. I mean, honestly, it feels unfair. But, you know, um, we live in a, in a world that has rules and that has systems, and, you know, we must abide by those rules and systems. Um, I feel like, you know, of course, the – the NC2A, the only people that are getting affected are, you know, the kids on this team, man. No, no kid on this team had anything to do with that. Um, you know, the, coaching, the coach who was uh, responsible for it, he, he lost his job. I mean, he took a hit in his career. Uh, the players that, you know, had any part, anything to do with it, most of them, you know, getting paid millions in the NBA and or not playing basketball anymore. So, I mean, uh, I mean, I see where the punishment has to come, but it, it's just, you know, affecting good kids. And like you said, stayed eligible, did the right thing. She, you know, did all the correct processes and the coaching staff that worked really hard for us to move the needle this year. And uh, when Todd Sanders informed you guys a decision, kind of what was going through here? Was it shock or anger or anything else? Or something? I mean, I knew, I knew it was a possibility this whole time. I mean, uh, it's, it's been back of our heads all year. I mean, we knew, we knew what position we were in. I mean, technically we weren't in the tournament to begin with. They were doing an appeal to see if we could get into the tournament. So when, we, when, we, when it's two games left in the season and you haven't heard anything back yet, you know, the, the, the ACC tournament is two, three weeks around the corner. You start getting a little sneaky suspicion. You know, we've been asking Coach and guys, you know, what he would think was happening and what he thought was going on. But um, when he told us the news, I mean, we were just, it, it was nothing we could do. I mean, we, we, knew, we knew what it was. We're all adults. It's not like, you know, we don't throw temper tantrums because we're kids. I mean, it's like, like, oh, man, <laughs> I guess it's a decision that you guys wanted to make. There was no argument, you know, the decision had already been made. They were just telling they were just informing us. I imagine you've seen a fight or during your team room. It's probably not a good feeling. I mean, you know, it was just gonna be good or bad. I mean that's yeah. that's what it came down to. We saw them in there, we had an idea of what it could have been over and it was either gonna be, you know, we're gonna be cheering, we're gonna be having some, you know, great day of practice, or you know, it was gonna be a little a blow to the gut. And it's tough. Do you think the timing was curious that maybe they could have made that decision a lot earlier? Um, yeah, I mean, yes and no. I mean um, it, like I said, especially, you know, having a team gain traction, you know, I feel like at any point in time, teams can be getting better at worse. And I feel like our team was getting a lot better every time we stepped on the court. Coach was really been uh, focusing on the process. And because of that, I feel like, um, you know, not knowing and still having that hope in our hearts, you know, that really drove us. They really forced us to compete a lot. And, and it was fun, especially knowing that, you know, we're fighting for, you know, a high seed in the ACC, which we haven't done in a long time. We want a positive record in the ACC, which we haven't done since we went to the Final Four. I mean, this team has possibilities and capabilities and, you know, our wins and our wins through the ACC to do things that uh, other teams here at Georgia Tech haven't done in 30 plus years or since 2004 when we went to the Final Four. So, like, uh, we got to take pride in that. I mean, you know, of course we can't, we can't do all the things we, we want to do. Um, we won't get the opportunity to have our one shining moment. You know, AC2A took that away from us, but we got to, you know, we got to look on the brighter side of things and, and, and go get what we can. I mean, to that end, uh yeah, you mentioned wanting to be one of the three teams with engines to win. I think a lot of people are going to be guys to figure out how they're going to pack it in. I'm curious what you think we'll see from you guys the next two games. Uh, I haven't played in any yet, but I showed up for practice today. I came to put my, you know, my work boots on, you know, whether they're blue or neon green. I'm going to put them on, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to go hard. And uh, come against Pitt. I don't, I don't think any guys are going to play any differently. I don't think guys are going to play selfishly. I don't think guys are going to play for themselves. They're going to finish the the season out the right way and, you know, uh, ended on a, a huge winning streak for Georgia Tech. Not even, not even that, but it, like in the ACC, it was six straight home games and uh, 
at McCain Civilian, and if you could possibly get a win at um at Clemson, we'll have what four or five straight. So that's that's good on anybody's resume. That's good on anybody's resume at the ACC, and hopefully we can keep that momentum going into the further season. This team will make turn. I hope so. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard without number one on the court. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I really I, those guys are really talented. They work really hard. They're getting they're getting better every day. And of course, you know, with with, with this uh, this mug getting off our hands and wiping this away, it should help coach it. You know, our staff and our administration being able to help recruit. And we can get some talented guys in here. Guys that they want to go to a place that's moving the needle, a place that's you know winning a winning program in the ACC, a winning program overall. And, I think with those things, you can't you can't deny wanting to be in the lab. Closing it out with the headband and glasses. I don't know. I haven't decided. I might, I might pull some new out for you guys. <laughs> it's a surprise. Show up, man. Show up. See you night. Big night.